All right, good evening, ladies and gents. Welcome back to Compound Interesting. In today's video, I want to give my opinion on what to buy and when to buy it. Now, like I mentioned in my last video, I do think we're entering a, a next year or two where we have an insane opportunity to make life-changing money. Now, I also mentioned in my last video that I do think we have a lot of time to potentially take advantage of those opportunities. And some people in my co some people in the comment section we're getting a little bit upset or there was a bit of a, a sense of impatience because people got used to being able to make you know two or three times their money within one year in 2021 and 2020 i think probably the best investments you can make right now is patience and also just stacking some cash whether that means reducing your expenses more as much as you can so not buying fancy clothes not going on lavish holidays not buying a new rolex not going out for dinner all the time reduce your expenses as much as you can move back in with your parents get a roommate etc etc or better yet try and get a second job get a second income get a raise at your job or start a side hustle now that what you want to be doing stacking up some cash for when the bear market lows come or for, for when the next bull market comes that's when the insane opportunity starts so we have patience if you want to start investing now i'll tell you my opinion on what potentially are the best investments for right now but i do think patience is probably a very good idea at the moment because the next few couple of years are going to be rough not just in crypto but definitely in crypto but also in the stock markets all the markets and the entire economy so it's, it's going to be a tough couple of years but that also means there is insane opportunities which i will give my opinion on as we get through this video so even though i think crypto is not going to be doing anything for a year or two it's probably going to be trending mostly sideways i do think over the coming decade we, there if you play your cards right or if one plays their cards right there is like a hundred x opportunity over the next decade which is just insane that's retirement money if you have 10k and you turn it into a million you, you can retire yourself in a decade and people some people still think that's not enough that's not good enough so just take it down a notch maybe don't expect some crazy returns within the next couple of years but over the next decade i think there's like at the moment the boomers have all the wealth so people you know in their 40s 50s 60s and the millennials and the gen z they're poorer than they've ever been basically like people who are tw in their 20s 30s and their teens have they've never had such a high discrepancy from in wealth from people in the 50s and 60s there's never been such a high discrepancy in history but what does that mean so the boomers have all the wealth now but over the next two decades uh, maybe 10, 10 years or 20 years I don't know exactly r roughly over that time frame it's expected that 30 trillion dollars worth of wealth is going to pass down from the boomers to us the millennials and the gen z and as we know I don't think many boomers are invested in crypto and nfts but I think millennials and gen z are a lot more interested in crypto and nfts so if even 10% of that 30 trillion comes down and is invested in crypto and nfts even 10 percent of that that's three trillion but we know that one dollar into crypto kind of equals twenty dollars in increase in price so if even three trillion goes into crypto we're looking at tens of trillions of dollars for the entire cryptocurrency market cap and the entire cryptocurrency market cap right now 800 billion so if we know millennials and gen z are much more likely to invest in digital assets like nfts and crypto and we know they're going to be getting 30 trillion dollars of wealth over the next decade or two would it potentially be a good idea to get ahead of what we think might happen uh, ahead of all these gen z and millennials who are going to get this income passed down to them or this wealth passed down to them if you want to be ahead of the curve it's probably over the next couple of years uh, a good idea if you think that is likely to happen to be invested in crypto and nfts to be ahead of the curve for because when that wealth comes in you'll be one of the early ones to be able to take advantage of those insane price increases over the next decade so now let's talk about when is the time to invest so i said this big opportunity is coming up when is that opportunity going to present itself to us so if you wanted to take the least risky route which worked really well last time 
So I think all of 2023 is going to present really good opportunities for crypto and NFTs. If you want to invest right now, like I mentioned in my last video, for me, I'm investing a bit in Tesla at the moment and kind of just saving up cash uh, because I think crypto has, like every single bear market for crypto has lasted a couple of years and we're only one year into this bear market. It's lasted two or three years before it's really taken off again. So I think I can wait another year before really investing a lot of money in crypto. But I'm investing a bit in Tesla stock right now because I think that's insanely under undervalued. It could keep going down, but I'll, if you want to see that video, check my last video. But for 2023, at these low prices, altcoins are probably risky, very risky. They might not come back, a lot of them, but Bitcoin is going to come back. So putting Bitcoin, stacking some sats, putting it in your hardware wallet where you have 100% ownership of it, no one can take it away from you no one there's no counterparty risk no one can rogue like ftx like everyone knows that's happened so many times no one there's no yield there's nothing it's just 100 percent owned by you nothing no no one can take that away from you stacking sats and then once bitcoin breaks all time highs again so that's the this is the least risky uh way to do it and this is what worked in every single last previous bull market once bitcoin breaks its all-time highs that's officially we're in a bull market again and then you can, if you want, you can start buying some altcoins again at those prices. If you want to be a little bit more risky, you can convert some of your Bitcoin into altcoins because altcoins will probably outperform in that scenario. Or you could buy some NFTs in that scenario. And then you want to be selling those altcoins when they do a 2, 5, 10x in the next bull market, if that happens. That would be the least risky scenario, kind of confirms crypto is back, crypto isn't dead. The other probably slightly more risky method uh, is to find coins that you think will come back strong in the next bull market that you think have real fundamental value and to buy them when they're down 95 plus percent so let's look at a few examples from the last bull run like i mentioned before cardano was like a really big coin back in, in 2017 it crashed it went from one dollar and 20 in 2017 it peaked at it went all the way down to two cent so it went down 98% and then it spent lots of time in the like two to four cent range. And then in the next peak, it went to $3 and 20 cent. So like that was a hundred X opportunity for a coin that was like in the top two, three in 2017, top five anyway. Ethereum, another example, went from 1,500 in 2017, all the way down to $80 and 95% drop for the number two cryptocurrency. 95% down and then it went to 4,500 in this bull market which was a 56x but it's even if you didn't buy the absolute bottom at eight dollars it spent a lot of time in the like 150 to 250 dollar 300 dollar range like you could still got 10 20x no problem if you were buying ethereum because it was in that range for years but what about this bull market what about the next bull market what's going to be the Cardano, what's going to be the Ethereum. So this is just my uh, opinion. I could be totally wrong. And this is very, very risky, obviously. Um, and like I mentioned, the less risky uh, way to play it is to wait for Bitcoin to break all time highs. And then it's likely that all, all the coins and NFTs, like not all of them, but a lot of them, the majority of them that are good anyway, are going to do multiples on top of Bitcoin and go crazy. And that could be years away. That's probably not till 2024, 2025. So that's that's what I mean, just stacking cash, maybe investing in the stock market for those few years. Or if you want to take on the bigger risk, you can invest in altcoins in 2023 when they're down 99%, like solid altcoins, solid NFT projects, metaverse projects when they're down 95, 99%. So right now, something that has been absolutely hammered is Solana and it's down 95%. And I kind of would compare Solana to Cardano of the last cycle. So I think Cardano could get down to the 98%, almost 99% down. Uh, so right now, I think anything below $10 for Solana, that's probably a, a crazy cheap entry for Solana, if Solana can come back like Cardano did. Because I do think Solana is a great project. Uh, there's an insane amount of innovation on Solana. They do have a it's not so much thriving anymore, but they do have a somewhat thriving NFT ecosystem. And it's the best layer one blockchain after Ethereum. So 
I do think any a Solana under ten dollars seems like a interesting buy for me. It's almost already down ninety five percent because in the entire FTX scenario, so it went from two hundred and forty dollars to twelve dollars, and maybe in the next cycle it could get to a thousand dollars potentially. Who knows? Which would be a crazy opportunity. If you want to see a further breakdown on Solana, I'll leave a video there for you. Another thing I'm looking at buying, which I already have a big bag of, is other deeds NFTs. So I've done a lot of research and videos on that if you want to learn more about other deeds. But this is a metaverse project by Yuga Labs, the creators of Board API Club, the best team in the NFT space by a mile. Uh, so it's usually best, in my opinion, lowest risk and some usually kind of best re rewards to bet on the winners uh like in the stock market it's the best investments have been fang for the last 10 years they were already the winners at 10 years ago and they even though they only made 10 percent of the market cap back then they produced 40 percent of the returns or like the top basically what i'm saying is the s p 500 most of the companies in there don't really do much in the way of returns and most of the returns came from the fang stocks which were already the winners to begin with so I think that's going to be the same in the NFT space. Yes, there's going to be, like you can get some very small NFT projects that can go to the moon, but I think the lowest risk, best reward play, highest risk to reward is probably Yuga Labs. Now it's hard to say exactly how much other deeds NFTs are down from their all time high because they kind of minted out at a uh, peak in the market. So it's kind of difficult to say, but I think a better I think a better method to evaluating how much Yuga Labs ecosystem is down is by looking at bored apes or mutants. So at one point, that little guy over there was worth over a hundred grand, and now it's worth just over ten. So it's down about ninety percent, and I think it could go down ninety five percent. I think NFTs being one of the most speculative markets in the entire world, for it only to be down ninety percent seems a little bit. It seems like it should be down a little bit more. I know that might seem kind of crazy, but most altcoins went down 95% in the last bull run. And I kind of equate altcoins in 2017 to NFTs now. They're probably similar market caps. Like altcoins in the last bull run probably got to the, you know, single digit billions in value. Uh, and it's the same with NFTs, like the blue chip NFTs got to the very low single digits in value for market cap. So that's why I equate those two. So other deeds right now are about just over one Ethereum. I do think that is probably a good entry, but I also think we still have plenty of time, as I've mentioned repeatedly, to get into NFTs and to get into crypto uh, over the next, over 2023 for sure. And then once the bull market really starts hitting again in two or three years time. So I could easily see other deeds hitting like 0 0.5 ETH, which would be a crazy entry over the at some point over the next year or two. But that doesn't mean buying in at it. Uh, one Ethereum price is terrible. Um, so I am considering it, but it is a tough decision because I already have a medium sized bag of other deeds, probably shouldn't be too exposed to them. But I do, do think other side has an insane opportunity, like 100x opportunity over the next few years if they can pull it off. And I did a full breakdown on why I believe that in this video here. So for the time being, for the next year, six months, probably mostly just be stacking Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tesla stock. And with uh, once crypto is for sure, well, uh, nothing's for sure, but once we can guess that crypto has likely bottomed, uh, then you can start, I will start looking at converting some of that Ethereum into NFTs, maybe looking at buying some altcoins like Solana. Matic is one I need to do a video on. I'm pretty very bullish on Matic, but I need to learn more about it before I can uh, do a full video breakdown on Matic. But yeah, Matic seems like a crazy layer to blockchain, crazy partnerships. They've just been killing it. So fair play to Matic. Uh, that's another one I would definitely be looking at for the next bull run. But it's still it's still like 90 cent or something. It's not that down, it's not down far enough to be buying it at these prices, probably in my opinion. But when crypto is likely bottomed, that's maybe a time to start looking at something a little bit higher risk but for the moment just the low risk stuff cash bitcoin ethereum tesla stock that's what i'm going to be doing that's what i think is the best risk to reward for me and the things i'll be looking at buying for the next bull run solana other deeds nfts other nft projects matic chainlink 
if you want to see my video on Chainlink, one of the most important cryptocurrencies that there is. Uh, so undervalued, so underappreciated. I'd leave that video up there. I uh, don't know how Chainlink has performed so poorly. But uh, yeah, Chainlink did really well in the last bear market, actually. It went from 50 cents. It was one of the, the high flyers, the first things to actually fly in the last bear market. Maybe that will happen again. So that's basically how I'm thinking of approaching the next couple of years in crypto. Not a huge amount of action, just stacking cash, being ready for the next bull market. Try and have dry powder ready because you do, there is there will be an insane opportunity for us at, within a year or two, in my personal opinion. So that's that's the way I'm playing it. I don't know if I'm 100% right. Obviously not financial advice. If you did enjoy the video, please smash the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell, and thank you all for your amazing comments. Really means it means the world to me and. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going with these videos for you guys. I really, I'm really glad you enjoy them. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.